Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the gear tooth vernier. So, let's get started. Now, gear tooth vernier is an instrument which is used to measure the thickness and the height of the gear teeth. And how it is used, first I will explain the gear tooth vernier. This is the diagram of the gear tooth vernier. To simplify it, I can just show it in this way like hiding the top portion. Now this looks like a simple vernier caliper of horizontal type and at the same time when I hide this horizontal part, now we have another vernier on the vertical part. So gear tooth vernier can be simplified as two vernier scales or two vernier calipers attached together in such a way that one is horizontal other is vertical they are perpendicular to each other and the functioning is similar to a simple vernier caliper here we have the main scale of the vernier then we have the vernier scale at the same time there is a fixed jaw of the vernier caliper and here we have the movable jaw as we can see here movable jaw 2 it is given movable jaw 2 is for this vernier which is a horizontal movable jaw 1 is for the vertical vernier then the lock nut is given lock nut in order to adjust the height and here in order to adjust the thickness then we can get the reading in the same way like we get for a simple vernier caliper that is we have to take the reading on the main scale where this zero is pointing then we have to check the division which is matching with of the vernier scale and the main scale then we have to use the formula main scale reading is equal to uh, we have to find the reading by taking main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into the least count so that is the approach which we have to use now how to measure the gear teeth by using such a vernier the gear teeth like here the example is given with the help of a diagram we have a single gear teeth at the same time here we are having two formulas one is showing the width or we can also say the thickness of the gear teeth gear tooth thickness denoted by capital W and then we have H which gives us the caudal addendum or we can say the height of the gear teeth so one of the verniers like the horizontal vernier would be measuring the gear tooth thickness whereas the vertical vernier would be measuring the caudal addendum and this is called as the caudal addendum because actually here we are having some profile which is an involute profile for an example so the height which is measured would be an approximate height so that is why it is called as the caudal addendum here we have PCD divided by 2 the pitch circle diameter is denoted by capital D divided by 2 so it is indicating the radius from the center here we have the pitch circle and this is the gear teeth gear with n number of teeth so n I am denoting it as small n and now how the adjustment is done is that we have to fix any one of the dimension like for example W is indicating the gear tooth thickness n is the number of teeth on the gears which would be known to us m is the module of the gear which would again would be known to us because module is diameter divided by number of teeth so once number of teeth and module are known even here we have sign 90 upon number of teeth we can find the value of w now when we know the value of w we can corresponding to this value of w we can adjust the horizontal vernier and lock it so the horizontal distance is fixed and now we are going to move this vernier and place it onto the gear teeth because the horizontal distance is already known to us and it has been fixed and now the vertical vernier would be adjusted because it would be moved up and down so that it accommodates the height which we are going to measure and this height is from the pitch circle diameter up to the top called as the caudal addendum which we are going to measure so h is adjusted and we are going to get the reading of h by using the vernier scale so keeping one dimension as fixed we are measuring the other dimension so keeping the gear tooth thickness as fixed we have calculated originally h can be found out and similarly what we can do another thing here is that 
instead of keeping the gear through thickness fixed we can find the value of h that is caudal addendum first caudal addendum is also calculated by using this formula where m is the module n is the number of teeth on the gear and remaining terms are constant over here so once we get h for an example like previously i have shown an example in which we have kept the gear to thickness fixed now i am keeping h fixed so once h has been calculated originally we are going to fix h and adjust that height and adjust the lock nut that is we are going to lock that reading and now move this vernier placing it onto the gear teeth since the height is fixed that is the caudal addendum now we can move this horizontal vernier to get the reading of w by using the vernier scale or by using this horizontal vernier so in short when we are measuring these two dimensions together we have to fix any one of them and then find the other one because for the initial setting of this arrangement or at the same time if we want a very quick reading in that case we can just adjust the vernier and adjust both the scales at the same time so in that manner also we can get the reading and here this method of gear tooth vernier is very time consuming because the disadvantage of gear tooth vernier is that for each individual teeth we have to take the reading it means it becomes very cumbersome or very hectic in order to measure the gear teeth for example if we are having 24 number of teeth then by using the gear tooth vernier we have to measure each of them so it takes a lot of time so that is one of the disadvantages of using the gear tooth vernier at the same time the formulas are used we have vernier caliper over here so it takes lot of time in order to get the reading by using the gear tooth vernier so in short that was a video regarding how to use the gear tooth vernier at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching